Here we want to solve this equation, but there's a little bit of an issue because of these denominators. One thing you want to keep in mind that this isn't exactly solving like a rational equation where we have rational expressions with variables in the denominator. So we don't really don't have to worry about any sort of x values that are going to cause to zero out the denominators. All we really have to do here is figure out what that LCD is going to be. I'm not sure why my pen was there. That's a little bit better. Figure out what that LCD is going to be. So in this case, we have x over 4 equals x over 3 minus 1. So our least common denominator in this example will be 12. Meaning I want to multiply this side by 12, and I want to multiply everything on this side by 12. And the whole goal with that is to wipe out the denominators. So here I'm going to have 12 times x over 4, which is going to be 12x over 4. And you could just do that more mental, where 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we get 3x equals, and over here, we want to make sure we do 12 times x over 3 and 12 times negative 1. So 12 times x over 3 is going to be 12x over 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4x. And we do have minus 1 times 12, which is just going to be minus 12. And then we want to start solving this. So I want to get x's over to one side. So it's just solving a multi-step equation. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. 3x minus 4x is negative x equals negative 12. And then we want to divide by negative 1, and x equals positive 12. And when we get that answer of positive 12, we just go back. Again, there wasn't any sort of x values in the denominator, so we don't have to worry about that not actually being a solution. This is a perfectly fine solution because we don't zero out the denominator at all, so x is going to equal 12 in this example.